Thank you very much. I would like you to introduce yourself in case there are people that do not know you and kindly tell us what the good Lord has done for you. Thank you. Good morning, church. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, so like it was said, my name is Jacqueline Makupa. And I'm here to give a testimony. It's actually a lot of things. I'm here to confirm prophecy. I'm here to give my testimony. And I'm here to, God, to give God the glory for what he has done for me. Amen. From uh, the beginning, so it was uh, uh, last year, uh, 2021. I had come to visit home as usual because I always work outside town. So I had come to visit home and uh, as I was coming, I had surety of having a job. But when I got home, uh, things turned out different. That was in December 2020. So when I got home, we had our Christmas, but then at the beginning of the year, I was very hopeful that I would get back to my former workplace, but things didn't turn out the way I thought they would. So now that rendered me jobless, meaning I had to start seeking for a job all over again. So it was uh, 2021, the beginning of the year, and um, I had to start looking for a job all over again, and it's starting from square one as well. So, but the, uh, the moment that I had with uh, uh, the encounter that I had with what the man of God told me. So basically there are uh, things that he mentioned. First of all, he said, it is well with you and a job will definitely come. And one of the things that he also convincingly said was that, I see something coming up for you and I see it being in Lusaka. And this wasn't the first time that he, act he had actually said about my job being in Lusaka because previously when I was still working in 2019, I was working from Copper Belt, I was transferred to Petauke. He had mentioned of me working in Lusaka. So it's something that he just mentioned again. And Lusaka at that point wasn't even in sight, I was elsewhere. Um, eventually now, uh, that was uh, last year, October, I'm sure most of us were present. We had the three days conference that we had just here in uh, Solwezi. So it was uh, end of October, I think the last three days of October that uh, we had that. And on the third day, uh, it was uh, towards the end of the conference and uh, most people, I think one year in the end, but as usual with the man of God, when you think he's going to stop, he won't stop. When you're expecting to continue. So it was not by thought, it was nearing, uh, I think, uh, uh, late evenings. And most people had even actually started leaving. So there were only a few people that remained. There were quite a number, but still not as much as it was from the beginning. And uh, at that point, I think that was around 20, uh, uh, beyond 20, uh, he started praying for people individually during the, the conference. So because there were three rows, there were people on different rows. He started from the beginning, the second. He even prayed for me. He laid his hands on me and prayed for me, and he even passed, continued. So as uh, he was now, I think, on the second last row, towards the end, uh, we were just there, I think, uh, just uh, um, along, getting along with what the prayers and also affirming, confirming what people were being prophesied and also being in agreement. Then he came to the front, then as he was walking back, he called my name, he was like, Jacqueline, um, I see doors opening for you in the area of work, like I see a job coming. And I was in the front. Amen. Amen. <laughs> And it was unexpected. Of course, uh, he had been mentioning it, and also I knew the prophecy, and I also would pray about it and received it. But at that moment, you know, where by this he was praying, and he had even he had prayed for me. He had touched me and proceeded. So I was like, ah, today this is all now. Afterwards, we even knock off. But when we were almost nearing the end, he called out my name, and I received it. I was there saying, yes, the day I'm here, and I receive a man. So. When he said that, he was like, do you have a paper and a pen? I had a notebook, that's why I brought this. I had a notebook, but I didn't have a pen. So the person next to me, I think I had packed it, had helped me with a pen, and he was like, I want you to write down the salary that you want for this job that is coming. I was like, amen, I receive it. Quickly got a pen and wrote the amount. So when I wrote the amount, of course, he was, uh, uh, it was a process. He was still praying for some people. Then he came back, he was like, okay, let me see. So I opened my notebook. And then he laughed, he was like, oh my God, this is too much, but, because I had written something that I wanted, I think it was, yeah. And then he was like, uh, this is, wow, this is what you want, this is too much. But uh, what I'll tell you is that you will definitely start somewhere close to this and you will definitely end up here. I was like, amen, I receive it. So after that, he just didn't end there, he signed on the, the amount that I had written. 
uh, I gave him the pen and he, he wrote his signature. I was like, this is sealed. I receive it and it is coming to pass. Not that he went further and wrote the date. So he went back and then he was like, actually, let me write the date when you will get this job. And he even wrote the date. He wrote 30th November 2021. I was like, oh my God. I think I even knelt down. I was like, God, I thank you. Um, so after that, uh, it, uh, I think that was the end of the prophecy and I, I was very overjoyed because I didn't expect uh, him to, give, to, to tell me that again during the conference, but I received it and I really thank God for that. And uh, I think one thing that I also did was also just to confirm the prophecy. I went by the altar and just put a seed just to say, God, I confirm this and I'm not here by mistake and what you say is what you would do and I believed. And uh, the conference came to an end. And uh, children of God, I can testify to say that from the time that he had told me that, I started having interviews back to back. It was back to back whereby I have an interview today. Someone is calling me for an interview tomorrow. Next week, I had so many interviews. And that's one of the things, and I'm here to confirm that because after those interviews, I was called eventually, uh, to be, I, actually it came in email form, where I got the email on 30th November 2021. Encourage the church or maybe tell us more more. Encourage someone who could be there, someone who's lost their job, who's lost faith, who's people that are sitting and the audience at large. Okay, thank you. So I'll connect my encouragement with the prophecy confirmation. Uh, because everything uh, that the man of God had uh, prophesied to me came to pass and is still happening currently. So, because he had said, uh, at the point where you get your job, you have options, that was the truth. I had another company offering me for a good position. And I think it was just at that point where I needed to make a decision. And I eventually, I think I even consulted with the man of God and he actually encouraged me and I opted for the same. Um, when a purpose is given to you, it might not happen exactly the very moment. It's different. Others, it's the following week, the next month, a year, two years, three years. But what you have to do is hold on to the prophecy and believe because when God speaks, he surely makes it happen. It comes to pass. And our Father in the Lord is the mouthpiece of God. When he speaks, then he speaks from without. What he doesn't say, he won't tell you. He will see what he says. And no matter how long it takes, it still comes to pass. And I believe this testimony also encouraged someone out there to say, no matter how long it takes, God will surely come through for you. As long as it has been said upon your life, just put it into prayer. Continue to cover your testimony in the blood of Jesus Christ. Continue to have faith. Don't lose it at some point. Because when you see something is taking love, you actually begin to doubt. And when you let doubt come in, you might actually begin doing other things that you're not supposed to, and you lose your path. So whatever it is, whether it is marriage, a job, business, children, just believe that God will definitely come through for you. And I'll give an example of the Bible where Jesus Christ, uh, during his time, wherever he went, wherever he went, people were being healed, people were getting their miracles. This is the same thing with the, our man servant here, our man of God. He is here. Let's take opportunity. Let's hear from what he preaches the word and how he encourages us. When he prophesies, let's be able to cover our, our prophecies. When he prays, believe you can tap the anointing, you can tap the blessing. The grace of God is in this place and let's make use of it. Amen. Amen.